What's up everybody, welcome back into the kitchen. Today I got what we're gonna call the muscle meatball. Well, you know all those other like Italian recipes and stuff like that, that's really good, that have, you know, it's made of a, a lot of ground beef and some other stuff in it like that. Well, this is gonna, we're gonna make this with ground turkey. So, what's the difference between that? Is there's less fat, there's zero carbs, there's zero carbs in the ground beef also, there's more protein in this. There, in this, we have about a pound and a half here, 22 grams of protein per serving, and there's about five servings in that, four ounces being a serving size. So we're gonna get 110 grams of protein entirely in, the, in all of our, all of our uh, meatballs here. What else we got? We're all gonna mix it up in this bowl. We got some breadcrumbs, some cayenne pepper, Montreal steak seasoning, and a couple egg whites are gonna go in there too. Now the only carbohydrates that are in this meatballs is going to be in our um, our breadcrumbs. We have Italian breadcrumbs right here. 21 grams of carbohydrates and a quarter of a cup. So we're going to dump some in there with along with two of these two of these egg whites. About eight grams of protein in there, depending. And then yeah, so we're all just going to mix it all up in there. So you're going to have well over 100 grams of protein in all these. Basically, no carbohydrates, depending on how many breadcrumbs you put in. I'll show you what we have to do with that, just so it all sticks together, you know, and so they're not falling apart when we're trying to cook them. You're gonna have a frying pan on the stove. We're gonna cook them all in our olive oil, our extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna cook all the meatball, the muscle balls in there. Turn them up. We're gonna be flipping them. I'll show you guys when we get to it. So first things first, what you guys are gonna do? You're just gonna take. You're going to have a, a pretty big bowl here, depending on how much ground turkey you have. So you're going to have a pretty big bowl here. You're going to throw that in there. Get that out of the way. Now, next, it's all preference here. It really doesn't matter how much, if you guys really like some of the seasoning. So, really just preference. So like I said, it's all just your preference. But you got to remember that. I don't know how many uh, muscle meatballs we're about to make, but there's more than about 10, depending on the size. So you want to be able to have enough ingredients to spread it all around evenly when we get in there and mix it. So that was the steak seasoning. We got some cayenne pepper in here next. Be careful with that. But like I said, you're all just gonna distribute it pretty even anyway. Next, I forgot to get, we got some chopped garlic in there also got some chopped garlic in there we're gonna put some of that in there depending again on you I really like garlic but garlic really good for your, your uh, lowers cholesterol good for your blood sugar a lot of good taste in there too so it's up to you with that and then we're gonna put one whole egg in there just to bind it all up all right so next we got the breadcrumbs here our only carbohydrates but like I said you can mix this up you're gonna mix this up see I just put a little bit of breadcrumbs in there we're gonna get in and mix it up make sure it's all it's all turn you're gonna try to make it all one ball at first and then after that, we're gonna see, you know, if it's still breaking apart pretty easy, put some more breadcrumbs in there, maybe another egg, and it'll uh, hold it all together real well. So right now you wanna get your hands wet. You wanna get your hands a little wet. Don't dry them off, just flick them off, flick all that water off. Because if you go in here with dry hands, it's all just gonna start sticking to you. So go ahead and mix it all up. So I can already feel it's not binding together real well, so I'm gonna have to put more breadcrumbs in there. But again, do they have to be stuck together like completely? No, like this isn't bad. But um, I don't want to spill it. But the egg, when it starts cooking, the egg is gonna is gonna hold it together. Let's put some more breadcrumbs in there. There we go. Not sticking together. Alright, 
So after that, rinse off your hands. You want to keep them wet though still. Because once we start making the balls, or making them into balls, you're going to want to, you don't want them to stick together to your hand. So the easiest way to do this, you got your plate right next to you. You're going to take a little bit, you know, maybe about, maybe about this much. And what you're going to do is you're just going to roll it like that into a ball. And you're going to make a little, little meatball. Put it on there. So it really depends on what sizes you want. So we're gonna go ahead and mix all these up. So entirety with this, over 100 grams of protein. Around 20 to 30 carbohydrates, but each ball isn't gonna have that many. Each ball, it just depends. If you want to go ahead and do the math, how many how many uh, muscle meatballs you make, divided by how much you know total protein, and then your total carbohydrates that you put in there. If you want to measure it all out, go ahead and do the math. And then you'll be able to tell you know approximately. It's probably not going to be exact, but approximately how many grams of protein, grams of carbs, grams of fat that's in each one of these but try to make them pretty even. See, I made that one kind of small. Might have to go ahead and fix that one in a minute. But you could have these as an appetizer. Today's Sunday, so football is on, so I'm gonna go ahead and have some of these before the game start, or during the game. But you can have them, yeah, like an appetizer, or you guys can get some like whole grain sub sandwiches and you know, have like a meatball sub or something like that. Or you can just eat them straight up like this. Doesn't matter. What are you going to do? You guys can have some, it would really go well with some, some uh, whole wheat pasta or something like that, whole grain pasta. I have some of these, put, put these meatballs in there. That would probably be really well. So what we're going to do, we're just going to finish these up. Got just a little bit left here. Probably make two more. Had them all on our plate. And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to go ahead and put the olive oil. Pretty Put a pretty good amount of olive oil on our uh, frying pan put all these on there and I'll show you how we do that next. All right guys, so after you guys got your plate with all your meat with all your uh, muscle meatballs on there, you're going to grab your frying pan and throw some olive oil in there. So you're going to put a good amount because you're going to want it to be cooking it. So go ahead and turn on your stove. Probably like medium medium high. Good amount of olive oil on there. So go ahead and turn that on about medium high. I got it right now. Then we're gonna take our, our uh, muscle meatballs one by one. We're just gonna put them on. Just like that. So what's gonna happen is once it starts heating up and starts cooking it, what you're gonna see, we're gonna put the cover on obviously, but you're gonna be able to see the bottom of them. It's gonna turn kind of like a brownish color. And once you see all of them cooked up, cooked up, they're all real black brown on the bottom. What you're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon. So once they're all brown on the bottoms of them, we're just gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna flip them so that so all this side gets cooked and then that's it so we're gonna leave it on there for a little bit I got them on medium high I made about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen of them so once they're all brown on the bottom we'll go ahead and flip them 
and then leave them on there until those are done cooking and then we'll have them all right guys so you can see they're changing a little bit of color here so we're gonna go ahead you're gonna take one you're just gonna flip it over see how that one's all brown on the bottom that's how we all want them to be if you leave them on there a little longer they get burnt don't worry about it it's not really gonna it's a little crunchier but it's not that bad so we'll go ahead and flip them that only took about you know five five <clears throat> five to ten minutes so pretty quick the prep is fast prepping these gets pretty fast they get done pretty fast so You're not wasting any time. It's over. You always tell when you have the pan one way too much. They're all cooked on this side a little more than this side. It's just dust the pan a little bit. Same medium high, about five, ten more minutes, and we'll be ready to eat them. They're done. You can tell when they're done by. Uh, Obviously the top are done, the bottom are done, and then the middle is all brown. That means they're done. So we're gonna take them over, put them on our plate. Be careful with uh, the olive oil. Make sure you turn it off. Olive oil squirting everywhere. So like I said, we're gonna have like, I'm just gonna throw some toothpicks in here. And uh, eat them, like we'll appetizer watching the game. Guys, right, so we got the muscle balls all done. I got toothpicks in them. You can see like the little garlic spots in there. The Italian breadcrumbs is a lot good for the taste. Now in all of this, there's probably about 130 grams of protein total in all of these so you know do your math however money uh however much ground turkey protein you had in there the fat and all of it the breadcrumbs the carbohydrates and all that stuff do the math for yourself see how much uh protein you have in one of them and then go ahead and enjoy them we'll see you next time thanks for watching